name is Jen Sabian, and I am a geotechnical consultant. So a geotechnical consultant does a range of activities. We basically consult on things such as terrain stability, drainage assessments, slope instabilities. Our biggest concern is landslides. We really don't want bad things coming down on good people. A geology or geologist uh, background really helps in being a geotechnical consultant because you have to understand the processes behind what makes sediment move, what bedrock becomes soil, and everything to do with the earth's surface processes that might bring hazards into the equation. So a geotechnical consultant provides advice to different clients. One of our main clients is the forestry industry. Let's say they want to go into a steep mountainous environment to access uh, some trees. If they want us to build a road, we have to make sure that that road is built properly. So our clients range from forestry clients to transportation and road building to mining and oil and energy companies that need utility corridors built to access their resources. My job is really important because it has a lot to do with protecting the public from privately funded projects and also a lot of activities that the public may be completely unaware of happening every single day and if we weren't there to make sure they were done safely a lot more people would be in harm's way. So a typical day for me in the office is one of multitasking. I may be on the computer and have the phone ring at the same time I have to work on two projects. I'm always involved in mapping and data entry and report writing and consulting with the clients and this is one of my favorite aspects because you get to work with real people every single day on new problems. My job is really interesting because I get to do field work and office work and it's about 50-50 during the really busy field season. A field day for me is really long days out in the deep forest on steep mountains often looking in really rough places for a new project that is going to be developed there. So it requires physical ability and some endurance, but you get to be in the great outdoors, breathing fresh air all day, and it feels wonderful. One thing that I really love about my job is that I get to work spring, summer, and fall, and they're usually quite long weeks of work, but I always get my nights off, usually get my weekends off, and then come the winter when the snow starts to fly, we don't have as much field work, so I get lots of time to go skiing. We use specialized computers that have a lot of memory uh, ability so they can hold all the photos and data that we bring in from the field. We also have some interesting software that can process a lot of those interesting points of data and photos into maps and of course just building strong solid reports for our clients. As well we use handheld GPS uh, devices in the field to collect this data which use satellites from all over the planet. And then at home, we bring everything in together on an excellent program called Google Earth. For my job, I was required to have a Bachelor of Science in an Earth Science program, which is usually four years of study. Anywhere in the Canadian universities or colleges, you can have this, this background. However, I went on and got a Master's as well, which gave me a little bit more of an edge in having a better handle on what I would be expected to do for this job. This job it's really important to be a really good keen observer. If you can observe detail and if you can keep track of those details you'll have a really good handle on what you're going to need to put into the reports. It's also really important to be good at multitasking and to work with people. If you can't convey what's in your mind to your client then you're not going to get very far. So it's really good if you can work well with people and especially have a love for the great outdoors. It's really helpful if your personality is one that is easygoing, um, able to adapt to new situations, and be a quick learner because you never know what's going to be thrown at you, especially from the side of nature. Nature always throws in some curveballs that we can't expect. So if you're able to work with problems and others, you'll feel quite comfortable in this job. The job is fairly physically demanding, especially in the field. You have to work in a steep mountainous environment through some pretty thick forest. But in the office, it's not so bad. You can relax and recover on those days off. I work as a junior or entry-level position, uh, making about $20 to $30 an hour. But as soon as you get higher qualifications, you can make upwards of $50 to $150 an hour. And you're often paid for extra things like use of your truck. I think this 
career has the most travel opportunities of all careers. You're always going to be asked to go to places to see things firsthand. So you're always going to be traveling and it can be really close to home. So you're home at night or you might go far and wide, even across the world. Geotechnical consultants are probably going to be in demand as much as they are already and more as time passes because a lot of the resources that we need, like trees and a lot of the access roads to get them, are going to be more remote and harder to access because we've already used up all the easy to access ones. So the demand for people like myself is only going to get bigger and the money is only going to get better. My best advice to anyone who might be considering a career in the earth sciences is to go out and find people that are doing it. Get your hands dirty, try it on for size, and see which one you like best because I can pretty much guarantee you no matter what you choose, you're gonna love it. I'm passionate about my work because it allows me to do a range of things that I would never have thought I would ever do, as well as tie in some of my skills so I feel capable but also constantly challenged.